Good afternoon, everyone. During this pandemic, we've been encouraged to work from home, learn from home, and stay inside as much as possible. So when's the last time you actually went outside and went for a hike or go for a bike ride? It's always a great idea to go outside and get some exercise or just to grab some fresh air. And that's why our team decided to build Adventure Buddy. My name is Jair Rolando, alongside Larry Castillo, Fernando Hernandez, and Trevor Mullis, and we are team Adventure Buddy. Adventure Buddy is a platform for adventure seekers such as yourselves to access trail data in the greater San Antonio area and utilize it to create events and connect with others through outdoor activities such as hiking, mountain biking, and cycling. My contributions to this project include partially consuming the Hiking Project API, Mapbox API integration, and the ability to view, search, and save trails to the user. As a visitor, I can scroll through a list of trails located within 50 miles of San Antonio. Additionally, I can learn more about a specific trail and details that the Hiking Project API provides for us. I can view where the trail is in regards to my current location, details about the trail itself, and reviews that registered users have submitted. Fernando is now going to show you some of the features you can access when you register for our site. Thanks, Jay. My name is Fernando Hernandez, and I'll be guiding you through the login and registration forms. In this page, you'll be taking your first steps to beginning your outdoor adventures. Once you are logged in, you'll have access to more of the site's features, like writing a review, marking a trail as completed, and creating your adventures. Once your event has been set up, you will also be able to see your upcoming events in the calendar. My contributions to this project were creating the calendar using a full calendar API, as well as JavaScript and Java. I also created the login and registration forms using Spring Security. And now I'll be handing the project over to Larry, who will go over the user profile. This form is your first step towards beginning your new outdoor adventures. Once you are logged in, you'll have access to more of the site's features. like marking a trail as completed, writing a review, or creating an event. Once the event has been created, you will also have access to see your upcoming events in the calendar. Now, I'll be handing the project off to Larry, who will go over the user profile. Thanks, Fernando. Hi, everyone. I'm Larry Castillo. I contributed towards database design, deployment of the website, and the creation of the profile dashboard. Now let's see what features a logged-in user has in the profile. By integrating FileStack API, I've allowed a user to upload and display a photo here on the left. Let's help Psycho Mom change her profile photo. She's added a new adventure buddy to the family. Next, we have the completed trails tab. This tab displays all the trails that Cycle Mom has marked complete on the trails page. With a little MVC magic, we could also remove a trail from the card. All events that Cycle Mom is hosting will be displayed here in the events hosting tab. Each title is a link to the event. From there, you can view or change any event details. Lastly, if Cycle Mom wants to edit basic information, user information, or emergency contact information, she can do so by pressing the edit button in these next three panels. Now I'd like to pass attention over to Trevor, where he'll hike through the rest of the event functionality for Adventure Buddy. Hello, my name is Trevor Mullis, and I worked on front-end wireframing and design, database design, and event prep functionality. Say a user wants to go on an adventure with others, they can create an event through a trail page. This form lets them set the details of the event, such as title, description, date, and activity. When I post this event, it gets posted in the Public Events tab. I can view my event, and I can edit my event, delete my event, and even view the participants. Say I want to join someone else's event. I can click on their event card and request to join. So from the event host point of view, it looks like this. I can allow a user in, 
and it updates the group size accordingly. I can even take a user out if I need to. So now that you know how to navigate through our site, you can go on some adventures. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, Trevor. And thank you for taking the time to see how our team is using technology to connect you to the outdoors. Learn more about us using the links on our About Us page as we look forward to starting our own adventure in web development and exploring new opportunities that await us. We hope that Adventure Buddy can give you the motivation to go back outside and explore the many trails that San Antonio has to offer. And remember, the adventure starts with you.